Today I'm going to show you how to loop through files. We've got reports folder and in this folder we've got Excel files. We also have got text file. We are going to loop only through Excel files. We are going to ignore this txt file. So let's go to Visual Basic Editor and let's create new subroutine. Let's call it get files. Let's create new variable called file. In here we are going to use the IR function. The IR function is function that returns file name if file exists. So let's type TIR. In here we need to specify path. In our case is it is gonna be C reports. And in here we're going to filter only Excel files. So let's type star, which means any file name is OK. And in here we are going to specify extension, which is going to be XL. We could type as X, but because there are many different extensions, for example, it can be XL TX as well. Let's type question mark and question mark. This way we will select all Excel files with different extensions. Now we can look for files. So let's type do y file does not equal empty string loop. And in here, let's insert these files into column A. Before this, we need another piece of code to go to the next file in reports folder. And to do this, we need to type file equals dir. So now we can insert these files into column A. So to do this, let's type cells row. Let's create new variable called row. And let's start from first row. Column will be one equals file and we need to go to the next row for the next file. So let's save it and let's try it. Developer macros run. We've got 24, 25 and 26 and we haven't got this text file, so that's correct.